prevalent cancer is the Democrats. They are a disease. And they're, imagine if Bush had had Michael Moore arrested claiming he gave $20,000 to a political candidate in bundling. Obama's gotten a third of his money from foreign offshore groups to completely illegally. Look at this attorney general, all the crimes he's committed. And folks, if they get away with Dinesh D'Souza and Governor McDonald and with James O'Keefe, you better believe Matt Drudge and Alex Jones and, and Glenn Beck and Joseph Farah are next. Believe me. Believe me. I don't like to talk about the stuff I've gone through over the years because I don't want to intimidate people for the enemy. But look, look, they've left me alone because they understand I'll get really aggressive. And I know how to bring these people down. So they're criminal cowards. They, they operate in big groups, but they're using the Justice Department with the most criminal attorney general in history, undoubtedly, a fast and furious, you name it, to literally bring this country down. So I want to get into the incredible new Battleground video he's got up at... ProjectVeritas.com. We're going to play the audio and video here for radio listeners slash TV listeners. But I wanted to just bring this up to you and get your take on this clear selective enforcement purge, both men saying not guilty, and the fact that they're subpoenaing you and the sharks are now circling you, buddy. Yeah, Alex, this is something I've had to contend with for uh, a couple of years. Um, <clears throat> you know, they're, they're targeting journalists in this country, and uh, they've been targeting, we've spoken before about how I've been subpoenaed. I've been audited. Last year, I was audited by the IRS. I have a, I have a small charity. We have, we, we have an office in Westchester, New York. And now Governor Cuomo uh, issued a subpoena to us yesterday where they're talking about commanding me to appear and give every single financial transaction over the last three years of an organization that makes less than a million dollars a year. They're demanding general ledgers, journals, cash books, and payroll records, and everything else. And because I'm a journalist, I have undercover journalists working for me, you know, the state of New York has a history of leaking people's information to the press. Oh, yeah, they publish uh, concealed uh, permit holders' names in the paper. They did that. There was also an incident that happened with the tax office a couple of years ago where they leaked information to the press. Um, five New York State Department of Taxation and Finance employees say their tax returns were unlawfully audited and leaked to the New York Post. In Louisiana, my information was leaked. To the press, the U.S. attorneys resigned in disgrace. This is not. This is all public information. Um, but what I'm afraid of, of it, they're obviously targeting me. It's obviously political, and um, you know they're subpoenaing me. And I, I think it's a disgrace. Not just that they're doing it, but the journalists in this country don't care. Uh, they're not interested in reporting. Oh, well, in fact, they just, not that they just don't care and have no instinct for freedom. Uh, they are now slate and others making fun of us, uh, worried about D'Souza. And making jokes about you and I, uh, we're being attacked for being real journalists on the cutting edge of liberty. I mean, if they arrested Michael Moore like this, I wouldn't put up with it. No, it's it's um, it's it's unbelievable. I don't know, I don't know how else to put it. I mean, it's it's D'Souza. They're, they're indicting D'Souza. They're indicting McDonald. And for me, it's not even an indictment. But there is no concern from the like we the Columbia Journalism Review or the New York Times. They just they like the fact that people are being targeted by the government. They like that because it's people that they don't agree with. And I think that it's gotten really bad. It's going to get worse. And and um, I think they're going to, it's not just going to be something against me. It's going to affect a lot more people, as you pointed out. Uh, pretty soon they're going to be going after people like Glenn Beck. They're going to be going after those types. But they think they can come after me because I'm small and because I have a small charity and I'm tax exempt. But sooner or later, they're going to come after big people too. And by the way, you've been thrown in jail before, uh, exposing their shenanigans. Yeah, they, they actually, a federal judge, a, a judge um, uh, named Stanley Duvall in Louisiana for the Fifth Circuit uh, was the federal judge. He called me, basically insinuated that I was a terrorist for walking into a federal building with a camera. That's why I was a terrorist. And then the magistrate judge destroyed the videotape that I took from inside that federal building. And um, the press just went went along for the ride. And this is what I write about in Breakthrough. It's this, this crazy story about everything that has happened to me. And like you pointed out, Alex, I walk a fine line because I, I, on one hand, I want to tell Americans sort of what I've been through. On the other hand, I don't want to scare them because this stuff is really, really scary, but it's also very true. Well, let me tell you, if you don't know there's a tyranny, folks, go out and fight it. And you'll find out real quick. Now, usually they end up running from you in fear. But if you get really effective, I mean, how many billions did their crime machine lose when you brought down uh, Akron? 
Uh, well, they were allocated to receive as much as five billion dollars in the um, in the stimulus package. Um, <laughs> funny thing is, this guy Wade Wade Rathke, who was behind you know Acorn, because of our Battleground Texas story that we released last week, Rathke said to the Austin Statesman on the front page on Sunday, he said. We've been having weekly meetings. We've been instructing people how to uh, how to possibly get around O'Keefe and handle O'Keefe's undercover people. So they're that's right. That's stuff. right. You you have the entire Democratic machine on the run. You and about twenty other people. We'll be right back. Nobel Prize winner Alexis Carroll, cell biology researcher, discovered a detoxified and nourished cell lives in a state of eternal youth. Clean cells will result in improved energy, mood, blood sugar, liver function, and skin health. Also, you can lose fat and keep or gain muscle and reduce or eliminate inflammation and more. To discover how to detoxify and nourish the 100 trillion cells of your body, call this free recorded message at 866-844-1047. That's 866-844-1047. Is the Second Amendment your line in the sand? Is the United States Constitution important to you? Are you worried about gun confiscation? You need to join us for free at gunconfiscation.com. At gunconfiscation.com, you will meet like-minded patriots, get the latest Second Amendment news, and find anything you need to prepare for gun confiscation. Visit gunconfiscation.com today. That's gunconfiscation.com. Which side are you on? Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. By now, you may know that a Bitcoin is the first decentralized currency that's easily transferred from person to person over the Internet. No bank needed. This means lower fees and accounts can never be frozen, limited, or closed. Plus, a large number of businesses and merchants already accept Bitcoins. And Bitcoins are easily exchanged for dollars, euros, and more. If you're interested in making money in the Bitcoin market right away, and by right away we mean start making money today, please visit us at cloudhashing.com. Cloudhashing.com is one of the fastest growing Bitcoin miners in the world, delivering the highest profits to people just like you. To get started, join us at cloudhashing.com and you will start mining Bitcoins right away and get paid daily. You heard correctly. You will receive payments every single day. And the best part? You do not need a computer or need any experience in mining Bitcoins. It's perfect for everyone. Learn more at cloudhashing.com. Just like it sounds, cloudhashing.com. Start making money today at cloudhashing.com. James O'Keefe's with us till 45 after. Then I'll hit other news on the NSA, on Obamacare, and much more. Cruz comments on D'Souza being a political prisoner, edit out of Face the Nation.
Schindler's List producer was producing a new film with D'Souza says he's never feared his government until now. That's what he told Newsmax. Uh, this is serious, folks. This is serious. And we're going back to James O'Keefe of Project Veritas. You got cut off there. But, yeah, the Democrats are openly in the paper bragging about how they're going around with Battleground Texas, telling them what to say and what not to say. And for those that don't know, we're going to play a two-minute clip of uh, Wendy Davis, the abortion queen, and all the rest of it. But uh, please continue. So I'm just saying that, you know, the, the impact, you know, the, the bad news is they're going to come after us. They're going to put us in jail. And they're going to indict us, intimidate us, and most importantly, deter people from recruiting. From I, I'm, I recruit citizen journalists. We have dozens of people across the country. They want to stop my volunteers from getting involved because they want to make an example out of me. So the good news is that front page of the Austin Statesman yesterday, there's an article say James O'Keefe targets Battleground, Texas. And you have Wade Rathke, who founded ACORN and now represents Local 100 there in, in Texas, saying that He's having weekly meetings with his organizers, putting out instructions on how to, on how to identify possible O'Keefe associates and reporters in their offices. So they're on the lookout for us. In fact, one quote from this article, uh, this is on the front page of the Austin Statesman, says that Battleground Texas has sought to keep 10,000 volunteers from saying or doing anything fraudulent that might play into my hands. That's a direct quote. So these people are on the lookout. For our undercover cameras, that's how you know we're making an impact. And by the way, it's not playing into someone's hands when you go into Akron office after Akron office and say, here's my underage prostitute. I'm going to ship in child prostitutes and I want the Democrats to help me run the scam. Oh, yes. In my experience, street level Democrats are hoods, thugs, scammers. They're allowed to engage in every crime, every welfare crime you can imagine. But if a libertarian or a patriot has a literal crooked toenail we go to jail the way these laws are written it is it is almost impossible to follow all the stinking laws the way they can interpret them this is so huge but then you, look you are the answer i've been doing this 18 years you've been doing this i don't know six seven years if people will emulate what you put in your book breakthrough which is available on infowarsstore.com if they will take that and do that in their area on issues and use youtube and other platforms the system is sensationally corrupt and if we just go point cameras at them and ask them questions, they will expose themselves. All that evil men and tyrants need to flourish is that good men do nothing. Tell folks about Wendy Davis and some of the other big stuff you've got breaking, James O'Keefe. So, yeah, in the, in the past week, there was a whole bunch of scandal in Texas about some comments directed at the attorney general there regarding, um, uh, I guess he, he's in a wheelchair. Therefore, people are making comments about how he can't stand with Wendy, et cetera, et cetera. So we have all this material on Battleground. Battleground, Texas is a political action committee in the state of Texas that raise, raises tens of millions of dollars from national democratic money to try to flip Texas into a democratic state. They're doing that by dispatching roughly 10,000 people in the state to register voters and, and sometimes commit fraud. So we caught some of their volunteers on tape disparaging disabled people, talking about how Greg Abbott is in a wheelchair, we wanna stand with Wendy, First of all, he's in a wheelchair, and they're making all these comments about disabled people in this video. And it's and it's actually put Wendy Davis on defense. She had to comment on Friday that these comments were were abhorrent. And uh, and and like you said, we don't need to advocate anything here. We're not picking sides. What we are doing is exposing the reality of of who these people are, how they think, and how they view uh, uh, people in the state of Texas. You're absolutely right. But the fact that they're coming after us. And the Republican leadership's trying to purge the Tea Party out of their ranks and trying to purge Ted Cruz and people shows that we're gaining ground and that we can win if we just continue to fight. I think we have to expose reality. I mean, we, I mean, it's amazing how much we accomplish at Project Veritas. All we do is catch things on tape. And I think if we just did this more often, um, if we got all of them on tape, it would pretty much stop all the fraud. It's, it's certainly deterring the fraud. They're admitting in this article here that, that they're on the lookout for undercover reporters. They're stopping the fraud. And I, and I debated not releasing this video last week. I thought about waiting, um, but um, because it was in the news and because I wanted to stop the fraud before it happened. At the end of this video, if you look at the end of our YouTube video, there's a clip where one of the deputy voter registrars, her name is Lisa Wortham. She's an attorney in Dallas, and she is an official 
uh, in, in, she, in Texas, you have to be a, officially deputized to register voters. And she says that she sees mail-in voter fraud happen all the time. She covers her ears when it's discussed in the meeting. And another one says, hey, that's illegal, but, but I never even heard.